YouTube, what is going on? Back with my latest video. Today I have a package from CGC. These books right here were sent out over a year ago, I believe. It's three books. I believe they're all Silver Age keys. Don't re really remember which books they are, so we're gonna crack this open, see what books they are, and see what grades we got, and hopefully we got some good ones. So let's get right into it, see what I got. Before we do that, please hit the like button down below. Let me know you guys are enjoying these videos. And if you're new to this channel, welcome. Hit subscribe button down as well so you're updated to my most recent content. Hit that bell notification so you're alerted as we post a new video. So like I said, this was a package from CGC. Uh, it, it's about a year, definitely over a year. Um, I don't remember which book specifically it is. I do think there is an X-Men number 12 in here. Um, don't quote me on that. And I think there might be a Spider-Man 31 in here. Uh, I don't remember though, so we'll, we'll see, uh, but I definitely don't remember what the third book is. So I'm hoping that this is the, the order I'm thinking of, because those books have been gone out of the collection, or out of my hands, I should say, for a long time. And like I said, uh, hopefully they're good grades. I, I don't believe that they are high grade in any all, at, at any point. I think we're looking at, you know, 4.0s and below, to be honest with you guys, just because they were pretty cheap books. Um, but I, I got them for good deals and uh, just wanted to make sure they were preserved in slabs. So without further ado, here's the first book. Okay, so yeah, we do have the Spider-Man 31. So like I said, this was um, not a high grade by any stretch of the imagination. It's severely off-centered. I don't know if you guys can see from the front, but th the back is definitely an off-centered book. These were pressed uh, by CGC or CCS and uh, you know, it's looking pretty, pretty okay. So it uh, looks like we have a green label. Oh no, we don't have a green label. Okay. So I'm hoping for this, I'm hoping a 4.0, a 0.5. Oh, wow. So there's actually a page missing. So <laughs> when I sent these out, um, I wasn't as good, I should say, with uh, grading. And I wasn't as thorough as far as going through the book and actually um, seeing if all the pages were there. So uh, that's on me. But still, you know, I got this book for extremely cheap, like not much money at all as you can see it's, it's all centered you can see that it's definitely uh some issues with the book 0.5 is rough um you know i'm gonna check the graders notes even with the page missing uh 0.5 seems pretty harsh it definitely presents much much better than a 0.5 as you can see this is probably the best 0.5 i've ever seen in my life um but a 0.5 nonetheless there is some staining right there um you know this definitely presents like a 3.0 um at least so I'm gonna have to look and see uh, what the notes say. Like maybe that page missing makes it that. So um, I don't know, guys. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this. But this book, uh, yeah, 0.5. Still, you know, like a, like I said, it, it's a early Spider-Man first appearance of Gwen Stacy, Harry Osborn. Um, so very, you know, nice key. But I was not expecting a 0.5. That is definitely a, a letdown. You know, even though I spent so little money on it. It just doesn't present as a 0.5 at all. Not sure what I'll do because it was already as pressed. I'm not sure if this is uh, worth um, regrading or anything, but you know, 0.5 it is to start. So we can't go lower from here. So hopefully we got something better with the next book. Oh, okay. I forgot I sent this one out. So we have a Batman 171. It's the first Silver Age Riddler. Uh, definitely a good book. Um, I don't think this one's is as in bad a condition as the other one. Uh, you know, but that one was a 0.5, so who knows what this one's going to be. Let's see. A 2.0. Okay. Okay, so the coupon's missing from page 16. So I guess that's the case now with CGC there uh, with those labels. Now they're just telling you what's missing on there instead of doing the green labels, I think. I, I guess that's a new thing they're doing. Um, but here we guys go. 2.0 Batman 171. Like I said, first Silver Age appearance of the Riddler. Um... Yeah, pretty cool book. You know, I didn't think it was going to get a high grade. I got this book, like I said, over a year ago and, uh, you know, wanted to make sure I got this uh, slab because it was, you know, in lower condition. So I just wanted to make sure I preserved it. 2.0 is better than a 0.5. And uh, this is a pretty cool key. Uh, I wanted to get all the um, villain books, you know, the ones that are affordable. Obviously, the first Riddler uh, in the Golden Age is extremely expensive. Uh, the, the one I'm pr pretty much missing at this point is Batman 121, the first Mr. Freeze, and then uh, I pretty much have the ones I want. But this one, pretty cool, 2.0. Uh, definitely later down the line, we'll look to upgrade this one from 2.0 to something higher. Uh, you know, the Batman movie's now done and over with, so 
Prices have come down a little bit on Batman books, but still a pretty good book nonetheless. So the last book I think is an X-Men 12. Don't quote me on it. But before we get into this, hit that like button down below for some good luck because we got a 0.5 and a 2.0. So we're going to need something higher than that, hopefully, to finish this off. And it's not X-Men 12, which I don't know where that book is, but hopefully CGC gets it back soon. This is Fantastic Four number 67, uh, the first appearance of, uh, of him. So there is a piece of this book back on the back cover that's taken off a little bit. Um, I'm sure that's going to affect the book in some way. Uh, but let's see what we got. A 4.0. Okay, so that's uh, almost double the combined score of the previous book. So a 4.0 and Fantastic Four number 67. Um, like I said, uh, this is the first appearance of him. Adam Warlock will be appearing pretty soon in the MCU, I believe. Uh, so this is a really cool book. This is one I also got. I think I got paid like, uh, I don't know, 40 bucks for it. Not 30 bucks. Nothing crazy at all. Um, I, like I said, I got good deals on all these. That's why I, I you know, sent them out in the first place, um, even though they were low grade. But very, very cool book. Um, you know, the best grade we've gotten today and a uh, good way to finish it off. This is definitely a key issue and for the personal collection. So there you guys go. Um, that is the three books I got. I, like I said, I thought X-Men 12 was in here, which is the first appearance of Juggernaut, but that must be in another order. So when I get that in the mail, I will show you guys because I've been looking forward to getting that one back for a long time. So those are three books. Let me know what you guys have gotten in your collection this week. If you have anything with CGC, let me know in the comment section below. And let me know what you guys think about those grades. I think they're extremely rough for the um, 0.5, but this one 4.0, I can definitely see um, why I got that. So thanks again for watching, guys. Till next time, see you later.